Hello everyone and welcome to episode 12 of my GTA Online Racing series and in this episode we're going to be talking about driving in tricky conditions. Now it is snowing in all of these videos because you know there was uh, an interesting uh, everyone was racing in snow on Christmas day and it was a lot of fun I have to say you know it was, I decided to go around all my sort of favorite and my own made tracks uh, in the snow just to see what they were like you know just to see them a little bit different so you'll see uh, Drag Kings of Los Santos in this, Party in Palito Bay and uh, Cutting Coroners as well, I had to I had to see what that was like in the snow. So yeah, you know, it, it, although it's snowing now and you know, you're not going to be racing in the snow anymore, um, the everything that I'm going to talk about applies to rain as well, so you know, the, the, the characteristics of driving in the snow were very similar to driving in the rain and it, it all means tricky conditions that aren't, aren't what you would normally expect really and you know, might make you your car perform a little bit worse. So the basics of driving in these kind of these kind of conditions is the idea that you will have less grip. Now turning corners it doesn't quite seem as bad. Um, you know you can turn corners reasonably similar um, in terms of the speed that you can go through them as if it was normal driving conditions. But you are a lot more susceptible to spinning out, and that will happen a lot more in uh, in rain or snow. So you have to be a lot more careful in those kind of conditions to not sort of get on the power too early or not turn too much and end up spinning your rear tyres and you'll end up just spinning out completely. So when it is raining and when it is snowing, it's a lot better to sort of just take it easy, just try and t try not to push too hard. And I've mentioned this before in previous videos, the, the idea is you need to be backing off a little bit and overall you will be quicker because if you spin out for go, trying to go too fast you might lose five to ten seconds in the race you're not going to make that up again you know there's no way you're going to make that time back up um, and you, you certainly wouldn't have lost five or ten seconds just by taking it a little bit easier maybe one or two seconds but you know you would rather keep going in, a, in, in the, the right direction than anything else really um, and that's the that's the whole idea. When it is raining or when it is um, snowing or difficult conditions, the person who stays going in the right direction the longest will win. It's as simple as that. Um, and that's true of karting as well. If you ever go karting anywhere and it's an outdoor track and it's raining, the winner will ultimately be the person who just stays going in the same direction the right way uh, all the time. Now, you'd obviously in Formula One and professional racing series everybody knows how to drive in the rain so you don't see that but when you know you're, you're with other people and you're all amateurs and things like that the idea that the person who is going in this in the, in the right direction the longest is it's going to come through for you because you can't make up the time of spinning out anymore so yeah the, the idea is to just take it a little bit easier and the way that you can do that in rain and snow rain obviously is what i'm talking about more often than here because you know, you're more likely to uh, come up against rain in GTA Online races now. Um, it's to break a little bit earlier than you normally would because you don't have as much grip when you're going into the corners. So when you break, if you break at the same place that you normally would, you're not going to be able to make the corner. You're going to be uh, sliding off a bit too far and you're not going to be able to um, stop for the corner. So you need to break a little bit earlier. You also need to be nice and smooth on the accelerator when you come out of a corner. So don't just jam the accelerator all the way on whilst you're halfway in the middle of a turn. That will just spin your wheels and you'll spin. Uh, do you'll do a full 360 in the car. Um, and also, when you're going around a corner, try to be nice and smooth. You don't want to just jam the steering wheel on. I mean, obviously it's a controller, but. In the car, for example, you imagine being in the car, you don't want to just jam the steering wheel over to the right or over to the left um, when you're trying to get around a corner in rainy or snowy conditions because, again, you lose the grip that you've got, which isn't very much in the first place. So, yeah, those are the basics, sort of taking it easy, braking a little bit earlier, not accelerating or being as harsh with the, uh, the, the turning. You know, just generally not being quite as harsh as you normally would be so as you saw there in that first corner I actually nearly spun out you know I, I turned too harshly and put my foot on the accelerator a bit too quickly and nearly spun out and there the guy who was behind me 
braked a little bit too late. You know, he probably braked at his normal point where he would normally brake in normal conditions, um, and found that there was no grip there because it's you know it's snow, um, and the same applies to rain. So you know you have to be a little bit more careful um, in those kind of conditions. Again, you know, as you can see, I'm sliding around that corner, which wouldn't normally happen if uh, it was normal conditions. You know, you can you can go around corners generally a bit quicker and a bit harder when it's totally dry than you can in rain or snow. So yeah, that's bas that's basically it when it comes to driving in tricky conditions. You know, you've just got to be a little bit more careful, and it will pay off in the long run because most other people won't be careful and they'll just go off uh, anywhere and you know slam into walls and not realize that they've got less grip now in real life there's the idea of a wet line so when it's raining you would go around the outside of a corner because there's more grip there because all of the rubber that gets laid down on the normal racing line is more slippy in the wet in games like Gran Turismo and you know GTA that isn't true it, you know that that isn't programmed into the game so you can still take your normal racing lines in the corners um, and be just as quick but you just need to be a bit more careful about how you do it essentially so you know there's no need to change the way that you drive change sort of the lines that you do it's just about how harshly you go through them and you know realizing that you've got a lot less uh, a lot less grip to play with essentially but I have to say, you know, in GTA especially, the um, the physics of driving in the rain are, are very good. I would say, you know, that you you do definitely lose some grip, and you have to be you have to change the way that you drive to be successful and be quick. And I like that, you know, it it does provide something a little bit different. Obviously, a lot of people just spin out or hit walls or anything like that in the rain, so that's why it's not used that much. But you know, if you were having a proper racing series, you would have a few races where rain was turned on just to you know have a, have something a little bit different because it is quite realistic in how it uh, how it makes you lose grip so in this race uh, i managed to get a slipstream straight off there's only the two of us on cutting corners here and um, because of the slipstream when i break and the snow obviously when i break i don't break as quickly as i could and the same thing happens to this guy you know he doesn't realize that the snow's there and um, basically and he thinks that he'll have mo his normal level of grip he doesn't, and that's why he goes flying straight past me. After that point, you know, I'm I'm ahead, and I managed to stay ahead basically. But that was all because he thought there was more grip available to him. Um, just like the same way the guy in the last race went into the back of me. You know, when when you think that there's more grip, when you think that there's the normal level of grip, you break at the same time, and you just go flying straight past someone and straight into a wall. So if it if it is raining definitely be it pays to be more cautious than even usual you know I, I always say to be more cautious at the start of a race but it certainly pays to be even more cautious uh, when it's raining and that's about it for this episode guys I, I hope it's helped um, you know I wanted to feature these snow races uh, at some point during the series because it was you know a little bit different and I certainly enjoyed racing in the snow and I quite like racing in the rain as well I have to say um, but yeah, you know, I, I wanted to feature them and I was you know, wondering what to do it on. But driving in tricky conditions was kind of the perfect topic really. And although, you know, most of it applies to rain and we're not seeing any rain races, you know, the same thing applies. You just generally have a lot less grip. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. I hope it uh, helped you out and made you a little bit more confident about what to do when it's uh, next raining in your lobby. Um, and, you know, don't necessarily turn rain off all the time because it can be quite fun. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching everyone, I really appreciate it. Give it a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.